Hi, this is a tutorial about time settings in the PLC and TI portal and the connection to the HMI and the synchronization of them. So I have an empty project here and let's have a look. I have a PLC, uh, two HMIs, one of the old series with the comfort panels and of course one of the newer panels uh, with the unified version. I have TI Portal version 17 here, um, and with this version, I'm able to use both of them. So I'm also able to simulate the unified panels and the comfort panels. So in order to check the time settings, um, we need to have a look at the hardware configuration. And the time is quite important for logging um, of course, there's some synchronization needed between the PLC and the HMI for correct visualization of the alarms. The times of the alarms should, of course, be the same for the HMIs, both of them. And of course, this is a hypothetic scenario. You probably don't have both of these versions, the unified and a comfort panel in such a configuration but we will use this to display the time synchronization for both the comfort panel series and the unified series. So let's just dive into the hardware configuration of the PLC. And the PLC here, we will dive into the device configuration. We'll look at the properties and this is quite basic, of course. There's a time of day setting here, and you can select the time zone. The time zone is important for the PLC to know in which time zone you are. So let's just select Amsterdam, and then there's the NTP mode. We will get back on that later. This synchronization is also possible and useful if there's an NTP server available. And then we have the daylight saving time, which is activated by default for this time zone. We will leave it at this since this is the correct saving time. So first of all, when we have now configured the POC, we want to synchronize the time with the HMI, since we want to have one single source of truth for the date and time. And that's why we will first have a look at the comfort panel. So to synchronize these times for the comfort panel, all we need to do is adjust the connection to it. So as you might see, there's no HMI connection just yet between the PLC and the HMI. I will do that now, just simply dragging it and I'll also create a HMI connection to the other HMI for the unified series, just for uh, later on. And then let's have a look at these connections. So for the comfort panel, the usual one, the old version, it's a bit different to do the time synchronization. It's qu quite straightforward. Here you can see the HMI connection, and basically you just have to set the HMI time synchronization mode. So this is all you have to do to make sure the synchronization is available. And here you can select a master or slave. So what that means is for the HMI time synchronization, if it were into, if it were the master mode, the HMI would be the master of the time synchronization, meaning that changing the time on the HMI would result in a time change of the PLC. And for the slave, it's the other way around. So let's just say the HMI is the slave, so it will get the time from the PLC. And that's basically all you have to do for the HMI for the usual comfort series. So we want to, of course, demo this. So I will add a new screen and add the time 
block that is available from the default toolbox. So we will add just a simple clock here. And that's, that's it. And this is pretty obvious, but we will simulate it. I usually use shortcuts and I use Control Shift X. Uh, as we can see, there's no connection available. Let's have a look at that. Right, there's some text that I forgot to delete. Let's compile again. So I'm just going to use the compile here. One more issue. I didn't configure a start screen. So let's configure the correct start screen, which is, of course, screen two. So now I'm going to compile again with Control B. All right, so we're ready to simulate. Control Shift X again. And as you can see, the time is now correct. So we have almost 1 p.m. And that's also my system time. If I were to change the time of my PC now, it will just adjust the same as my PC time. So this is the local time that is showing here. I should mention that this time synchronization that we're using now, so as we're using a 1500 PLC with a comfort panel HMI, this time synchronization is possible. So this is also possible with the S1200 series, but otherwise you will have to look at the area pointers and use those as the HMI time synchronization mode won't work as expected. So on to the new series, the unified comfort panel. So as you might see, if we're going to the connections here, you won't see the same column you won't see the HMI synchronization mode. So this is something that we will have to handle differently. And that's where we're using the device configuration of this panel for. And there's some hardware related reasons for this, that this is working like, like this and there's no connection. Um, I won't dive into the details, but we will have to look at the configuration of the Profinet interface and we're actually using this one. So that's X1. And as you can see here, I've enabled the time synchronization via an NTP server. So that's a network time protocol server. And what that means, it will connect to this address either one actually. So first it will connect to this one and the other ones I didn't specify as we, do, we only have one server, which is in this case, the PLC. And I've set the update interval to 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds, the time will be synchronized. This is a bit uh, too low for normal use cases as, as you're not, not, not actually as you don't need 10 seconds, it's a bit too short to update as the HMI will continue to count. So this synchronization is only needed, say, daily. But now for the this testing and the simulation to show you time changes, I will leave it at 10 seconds. And then it will get the time from the PLC. So that's basically it for the unified panel. Um, there's some more complex 
issues to resolve when trying to display the time. So we'll dive into that later. 